still mad. How stupid is that? <laughs> I'm angry at a dead person and myself because I forgave her for everything. And it wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. I don't know what you want from me, Buck. Forgive, forget, make you feel better about what you did. I just want you to talk to me, <laughs> even if it's just to say that you're still mad. I'm not mad. I'm... When you decided to sue the department, did you ever stop for a minute and think what that could do to us? You're right, and I really am sorry. So whatever it takes for you to forgive me, I forgive you. When will you be able to forgive me? I can forgive you. I'm just not sure I can trust you. Look, there's nobody in this world I trust in my son more than you. The city offered him a huge settlement, but he made his choice. He chose this job. I'm saying, you got the family you were born into, the one you choose. Oh, that's what the 118 is, the family we chose. Dear Christopher, I'm sure you're wondering where I am, or maybe not. You're so young, maybe you've already adapted to a world without me. I hope for that. Hey, Buck. Yeah. Can I spend Christmas with you? Please know that I love you, and I want all the best things in life for you. Remember when I told you that if you wanted to try something new, we should try it together. Ready to ride? Ready! And away we go. But I'm starting to think that I'm not one of those things. I've made a lot of mistakes. Is that what I was supposed to look out for? Yeah, what, you think you failed? I failed that kid more times than I care to count. And I'm his father. But I love him enough to never stop trying. And I know you do too. They will. Some days it feels like they're gonna pull me under. I got some bad news at work the other day, and I didn't want to get out of bed for a whole week with you. So the day you had, there you are with a big smile, busting a gut. <laughs> you never gave up. And when that water was rushing over you back there, you just kept on swimming. Not, not just today, no, but, but every day. You never say no. You, Never complain. How, how, how do you do it? Well, I complained once, but it didn't work. So what did you do? Just come down to me. Some days I wish they would. Eddie dropped Christopher off with me. Um, he, he thought, you know, doing, doing some activities with him would, would get me out of my apartment. Out of my head. Eddie, I brought him to the pier. Oh my God, you were there? I had him. Greg Matz, I... I had him. I, I kept him safe. We were, uh, we were on top of the ladder truck. And the water receded. Okay, you're not answering me. Are you injured? Bleeding? No, it doesn't matter. Don't you hear what I am saying? Christopher. He's gone. You are a beautiful, amazing boy. I want your life to be happy and free and full of joy. You have to think about what you want to do with your what you want to be when you grow up? A firefighter. Yeah, me too. Wow. Thanks, buddy. Wow, this is great. It's even me. Oh, and uh, what's that? So four, right? Oh, 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 oh. Obsessed. Yeah? yeah? Dear Buck, you are an awesome firefighter. Chris, Chris if, if those career paths don't work out, I hope you do find something in love. Makes you feel like you matter. <laughs> Something you can do forever. So what to do is gonna tell you who you are. And it's gonna show you the rest of your life. That is the best feeling. I hope you get that. And I hope you get to keep it. You're gonna be okay, kid. Being his dad has been the single greatest joy of my life. And that little boy is. Yeah. You're a good dad. He's great dad. Well, if I am, it's because he deserves it. Christopher, Christopher's great. He's smart, adorable, funny, in a kid way. He just needs a little extra help. He loves that kid like crazy. 
He's a really great dad. When you left, I understood. I tried to take care of Christopher, and, and we, we just drifted further away from each other. But I always thought you'd come home. Maybe we'd have a chance to make things right. But you didn't. So I guess I, I just, I need to know why. I didn't know how. I mean, the longer I was gone, the harder it was to come back to face you, to face Christopher. <laughs> Eddie's here. Does he know what happened? Evan, you have to tell him. How? How do you tell your best friend that you lost his son? Good luck. Wait, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Wait, hey. where's Christopher? Eddie. Why do you have his glasses? Me, me, and, and Christopher. We were at the beach, you know. Why would Christopher hate you? Because I did this to him. After everything that happened, the natural disaster happened by I lost him. You saved him. That's how he remembers it. I'm the one who screwed up. The one who left. I know I don't get to have a say. So I'm following your lead. Thank you. We're not giving up. I have relived every moment of that pregnancy so many times just trying to figure out how it happened and what i saw was all still so overwhelming and exhausting and i just needed a break i need to keep on looking for him i need to find him fuck you are in no condition to go looking for christopher by yourself has he asked about me in a while. The lawsuit. Now I can't even talk to you because of it. You know how much Christopher misses you? How could you? You're not around. I needed someone to have my back. I always had your back. You were in Afghanistan. Badass under pressure, brother. <sighs> Me? Hell yeah. You can have my back any day. Yeah. Or, you know, you could. You could have mine. Deal. What I miss most after leaving the army is the camaraderie, um, working shoulder to shoulder with a great team. And there's none better than the one I found here. Well, we, we did that together. Me and you make a great team. I'm really five. I'm proud of you. Really. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. He is so cute. Yeah, he gets that a lot. Uh, you should meet his kid, though. Today. You two have an adorable son. Thank you. You're back. It's fun already. Sometimes being lost is not knowing how to get from where we are to where we want to be. Where we need to be. Because that's what you do. When someone invites you to their house, you don't show up empty-handed. Uh, this is Eddie's house, I'm not really a guest. I just put us a bond. Might end up real close. Especially if you aren't around to see the day at the same time. I'm sorry I wasn't there, Eddie. You and Chris needed me, and, and I had my head so far up my own behind with that stupid We're lawsuit. way past that, bud. I'm not. I should have been there. Look. Things got a little out of hand for both of us. Don't beat yourself up about it. Ah, this is my kind of therapy. <laughs> a few choice words can sometimes be the life raft that gets you home. To be seen. To be found. Isn't that what we're all searching for? I'd rather be at home with my kid, enjoying the one good thing I have going on. Actually, uh, life is like a vat of molten chocolate. Sometimes you, you fall into it. It drags you down, but it, it's it's warm, you know. It, it's and it's it's sweet. Sometimes all we can do is turn the page, let go. Being with you made me a better man, and for that I will always love you. Now it's time for me to figure out who I am.